security tags on your table. The first few minutes after a major injury can mean the difference between life and death in a combat zone. That's why deployed service members receive an individual first aid kit, also known as an IFAC, to carry as part of their gear. Well, the first thing that you're going to find is the trauma module. I mean, it's going to have gloves, tape. Um, you're also going to have a tourniquet for large wounds, basic things that you would need to treat someone so that way you could get them to a hospital. Before the IFACs are sent out, they are hand-checked by service members. We supply the entire AOR. We'll push these downrange to uh, troops in Afghanistan, Iraq, and hopefully uh, it will come handy and save a life. Every month, over 50 volunteers in Southwest Asia come together to prepare IFACs for shipment. One volunteer explains why she chooses to help out. If you get like a faulty pair of scissors or something like that, and God forbid you need to cut something open like a pair of, you know, ABUs, you don't want to be stuck in that situation where you're like, oh man, this is going to suck. Volunteers must pay close attention to the details. These IFAC parties take place at least once every month, with over 2,500 kits shipping to military members facing life-threatening dangers every day. Reporting from Southwest Asia, I'm Senior Airman Michelle Demers.